Lieutenant George, when do you take off? Any minute now. You want a ride? Yeah, can you put me down to Blue Goose Lake, McAllister's timber mill? Sure. They having trouble? Now, there's been a fight of some kind. No details yet, but one man's dead, and it looks like murder. You picked yourself a nice job, didn't you? I may not be as bad as it sounds. Ten minutes? Fine, I'll meet you at the landing stage. I'll be there. Oh, by the way, there wasn't a department aircraft available. I'll have to take my own kite. <laughs> I'll bring along a ball of string with me. <laughs> GQN to XNY 556. GQN to XNY 556. XNY 556 to GQN. Radio check OK, George. Time 1115. I've dropped Sergeant Scott at Blue Goose Lake. Am now proceeding to Pine Fort. We'll check any change of flight plan with you. OK, George. Understood. Thanks, Dobby. GQN out. XNY 556 out. XNY 556, C for Charlie. Hi, Dobby. Hey, Matt. This is a police warning. I'm sending it out to all fire towers and lookout patrols. A guy named Carl Hopman got away from custody at McAllister's Lumber Mill on Blue Goose Lake during the night. Description follows. Height about six feet, weighs about 220 pounds, brown hair. When last seen was wearing blue and red plaid lumber jacket and brown corduroy trousers. Okay, got that. What's the problem? He's wanted for murder. He's armed. He may be desperate. If you come in contact with him, don't try and hold him. Just check with me as soon as you can, okay? Okay, Dobby. Understood. Over and out. Rob's ready, Joe. George? Can't be. He'd be away, of course. He's supposed to go up to Pine Forks. Well, it sure sounds like his old jalopy. Sure it does, but I don't see how it could be. Hey, Joe, doesn't that sound like George? That's what I was thinking. But he was supposed to go up to Pine Forks. Well, maybe he changed his mind. Why don't you call Med Craig's fire tower and uh, get him to call Indian River? I'll call after lunch. George changed his flight plan. He'd have checked back. GQN to XNY 556. XNY 556 to GQN. Hi, George. Dobby, just checking back to advise you of... Hello, GQN. XNY 556 calling GQN. Can you hear me? Over.
Hi. Was ist passiert? Can we uh, have it in English? Yeah, sure. What happened? I got bored. I thought I'd just get out and walk. You don't make a very good landing, huh? Any landing you walk away from is a good landing. I don't see you walking away right now. Just help me down out of this. I'll do the rest. Maybe. I, I don't know. What do you mean? You don't know? You can't just leave me here. I haven't got much time. I got some business to do. It'll keep for five minutes. They'd be got a knife. Yeah, sure. Well, fine. Do, do me a, a big favor. Just climb this tree and cut me down. Okay. But you know what? I'm just being sentimental. I ought to leave you for your friends to find. I guess they know where you are pretty well. They don't. I'm around 20 miles off course. You don't steer so good, huh? I steer fine. But I left my flight plan to look at an area that got burnt off last fall. I was just checking with headquarters. The fuel line burst. Everything started frying, including the radio. I shot it. Oh, Samus. It's tough. Webbing. Pass out! You okay? How are you? I think I broke a bone on my foot. So you can't walk? Hmm. Not enough to get me out of this. I think somebody is going to be looking for you. Not here. I told you I'm off my course. Nobody's going to see my chute up there. And they won't see your aircraft because it went into a little lake. Yeah, I meant it to. It's my job to stop fires, not to start them. Forest Ranger? Chief Ranger for this area. My name's Keeley. It's too bad, but I've got to leave you here. Well, that's up to you. Which way are you heading? I don't know. Anyhow, you're bound to hit civilization of some sort within 24 hours. When you do, will you get a message through to my headquarters at Indian River, giving them my position? I'm sorry I can't do this. What's the matter with you? Look, when somebody gets in trouble in the bush, any reasonable guy does what he can to help. Yes, I know. And I'm ashamed. But that's life. Phil Glick, and not you. Where's the nearest place you can get help? There's a fire tower at Widgeon Lake. Okay, let's go. I guess you better ride on my back, huh? You okay? Fine. I don't think I got your name. Jones. You're German? Austrian. One of the Austrian Joneses. No, where am I next? How far is it? Oh, 20 miles. Hey, Chubb, you have me the walkie-talkie. I think I'll call Matt Craig. Just check with him if that was George going over. I think it was. Could have been, but it puts him way off course. This is XNY 556A Apple calling XNY 556C Charlie. Come in, please. XNY 556C for Charlie. Pete, am I glad you called? Listen, I think we got trouble. What kind of trouble? We think George has gone down the bush. Good grief, where? He called Indian River about an hour ago, but his radio cut before he could give a fix. Hey, Matt, I think he went over near here a little over an hour ago. 
We're on Spruce River, about five miles up from Pike Falls. I'll get Dobby to send over an aircraft. That's bad country for an air search. Sure is. Pretty dense. Well, we'll start looking on foot. Check back if you get any kind of a lead, son. Sure will, Matt. Over and out. You get it? Yeah, George made a forced landing, huh? Something like that. I knew that darned old buggy would fold up on him one day. Gee, that's tough. Well, don't worry about it. It's insured. Yeah, but George... You know what? George has a kind of habit of landing on something soft. <laughs> Quite a guy, Jones. Hey, you think so? I certainly do. You carried me four miles so far. And that is nicht möglich. Only four? That's right. No, Sarah. I think we sit down for a little, okay? Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh... You okay? Only another 16. 14. 16. 14. I take you two miles from where you want to go. Then I leave you. Why? If we're going all that way, another two miles won't make much difference. Maybe I could find you some transport and let you get on with your business. No! Okay. Two miles. You can make two miles, I guess. Sure. It'll take time, but I can make it. Okay, fine. Then why do we argue? Because I'm curious. I want to know why. You want to know, huh? I'm curious. Okay. Because... Because I'm wanted by the police. For murder. here they went over heading west joe look at this now here's spruce river and we're about here right yeah now where was that big burn off they had last fall right here and i think you got something i heard george talk to us three times about taking a look at it so if he took it into his head to look at it today he'd be somewhere between here and here sure well, let's go find them. So you broke out during the night and lit off into the bush. Sicher. You think I'm crazy? You think I'm going to stay around until the police come? Might have been better if you didn't kill this. Uh, what did happen? This guy was the straw bus. He didn't like me be because I talked back to him. Because I tell him he's not keeping to the safety rules. And you can't do that in the timber mill. Or some poor guy gets hurt. Is this nicht so? Sure. Last night I go out to do a little hunting. When I come in, this guy is maybe a little drunk. He starts to bowl me out. Well, we get into a little fight. I had this gun in my hand and it went off. Who pulled the trigger? Well, I don't know. But it wasn't me. No one else there? No one. No witnesses? Hmm. Well, plenty of people come after a little time. They find this guy dead, shot with my gun. So it's quite simple. I killed him. You told them what happened? Well, sure. And they didn't believe you? To you? That doesn't matter. You don't think so? Listen, if you don't believe me, you got to try to bring me in when we get to Witchin Lake. Isn't that right? I've got to try and bring you in anyhow. So maybe you'd better just leave me right here.
Darby sent that one over this way. Yeah, I don't think you'll find anything. Not a chance. It's too thick. Okay, so it's our baby, huh? Hey, Pete! Joe! Parachute harness. This is George, okay? Well, I guess he's all right. Seems to have walked away from it. Das ist nicht richtig. Come again? I say it's not right. What isn't? Why don't we sit down? How much you weigh, huh? 180. So I carry a guy who weighs 180 pounds for 16 miles. And maybe I have to hit him on the head to get away from him. Oh, I don't go for that. Ich möchte das nicht machen. There is an alternative. Yeah? You tell me. You could come quietly. <laughs> Wofür? To get a rope around my neck or 20 years in jail? Ah, uh, no dice. The law won't convict a man if he's innocent and tells the truth. You really believe that? On the whole, I guess there have been mistakes. I don't want to be one of them. If you give yourself up, if you come in of your own free will, there's less chance of that. Anyhow, I've got to have time to think it through. Why don't we have coffee? Okay. You make fire, and I go and get water from the creek. This here? They sat for a little time. The grass was flattened, now it's beginning to rise again. So it was some time since they went by. Someone is looking for you. Probably. But you don't make any signal to him. No. I don't understand. Warum nicht? You're not the only guy who's got a right to have time to think things through. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to take you in. If you can. If I can. You see this? We see the back of these leaves. Now, they were turned back as this guy pushed through the bush with George on his back. We catching up with them? Yeah, pretty fast. It wasn't so long since they were turned back. Okay, here we go. Ready when you are. Would you like to get a little water from the stream whipped down the fire? Sure. Yoo-hoo, George! Pete, over here. Hi, right, fellas, where'd you spring from? Hey, George, you okay? <laughs> the crate's gone. I bust the bone on my foot, but I got along okay, thanks to my friend here. I'd like you to meet my friend, Mr. Jones. Hi. Thanks a lot for helping my brother. Things could have been pretty tough for him in there. It was nothing. 
I guess you'll want to get along. I've taken you quite a bit out of your way. Isn't he coming to Indian River? We could uh, give him a pretty good time, kind of uh, celebrate. I hope he'll come. Quite soon. Oh, I think this is yours. Off with us, And good luck. Thanks. Ich hoffe, Sie werden bald gesund sein. Adieu. One of the Austrian Joneses. I, I just don't get it, George. You spent several hours in the bush with this guy and you found out nothing about him. Aren't you curious? Suffering from shock, I guess. Oh, come off it. You didn't really think his name was Jones. Well, that's what he told me. He spoke German. Joe, Pete, and Chubb all heard him. That's right. And you knew about this business at the timber mill. Didn't you put one and one together? I guess I uh, wondered a little. Look, George, this is serious. Now, inside these four walls, quit stalling around and let me have it, will you? Okay, you can have it. This guy told me a story. He's in a pretty tough spot, isn't he? He sure is. Do you think he's guilty? Not my business. The judge and jury will decide that. I'm only concerned with facts. Inside these four walls, could he be innocent? He'd have a darn difficult time trying to prove it. If I brought him in at the point of a gun. That's right. But if he walked in here under his own steam, a free man gave himself up, would that help? I'd say it might help a lot with the jury, yeah. Okay. That's why I let him go. I hope he does walk in here before he's caught, for your sake. I think maybe I come to the wrong place. I'm looking for Chief Ranger Keeley. Would you like me to take you to him? Bitte. Uh, please. Oh. I think you take this, huh? Sure. Boy, is George going to be glad to see you. He was getting a bit tired living under the shadow of the law. Well, let's go. Mm -hmm. 